be ballin' on these niggas Got me feelin' like sports Dash got so much wood I could build me a fort Ain't too many things What's up gamers? It's your boy Fat Dollars A.K.A. Mr. Tutty Tutty Bringing you some quick Madden 18 tips to help you be able to elevate, dominate, just destroy the defense, man. I know a lot of people when they play Madden, they have more trouble on reading blitzes, beating cover two, cover three, and disguise defenses. But first, I want to say Happy New Year to all y'all. I hope y'all been enjoying yourself. And if you on break, I hope you've been very safe. I hope you've been having a lot of fun. So we're going to come out in two different offenses and about 80% of playbooks got this but i'm in the jets playbook right now because in weekend league i was changing up my defenses so i was coming out in the pitch bull crap and all that so right here we in the gun ace i also like to come out in the regular ace and i'm gonna show y'all that because the gun ace got cover two cover three and man coverage beaters all in one play as you can see we dumping it off to the tight end in this play it's important that you don't stare down the field because that's the only way that you can get sacked you got a second and a half to read the coverage by watching the cornerbacks. Now, when you set up your man coverage, all you want to do is smart row out him every single time. Now, I'm going to show you two different examples in this, and I'm going to show you three or four different situations where you do some certain things. And I'm going to freeze the screen for y'all. So, we in the uh, ace formation. What makes it so good is they don't know if it's to the left or to the right. It's just like the deuce close. Now, you can see me. I'm always looking for the dump route right there. Y button but his cornerbacks are both underneath my X and my A so that lets me know automatically cover two even if it's deep blue so I have to decide be between a high point pass to my X or a high point pass to my A and since his user was playing in between the A button and the out route that I had underneath I high pointed it to Kelvin Johnson and we get a tutty tutty now you always want to make sure what makes it so good and so simple is you always want to make sure that you got your drag concept and then you got your out route concept going away from where your over the top cover two beaters is at so if you got your cover two beater coming off the left side and he's working his way back through the middle you want to drag from the right side and you want to out route from the left side that means that you got two reads on every play every single time them should be your two reads a drag un underneath because you can playmaker him and send him back down the field if they got spies or they drop a nine in coverage like a lot of bums do so you got the drag and then you got the quick out route always take the drag or the out route first unless they in man coverage or a blitz and I'm gonna show you that in about 12 to 13 seconds right here we get a sack on defense and it's time to get the offense back on the field so then I can show you what I'm talking about so here we go right here we setting up. We back in the gun because I like. Look at this. No cornerback is over my B tight end. Now, to the left, we got X cover two beater. We got Y straight down the field for a man butt beater or a cover four. The first read that you want to make is your A button. You want to see if it's man coverage. He is following him. You see the linebacker. He turned his hips to follow him. And we hit the man coverage every time. Now, before you hike the ball, you don't know if it's cover two, cover three, cover four, or man coverage. Now, when you hike the ball, who you read on the play is so, so important. When I came out in that play formation, I seen he ran cover two last time. So, I was expecting to have to beat him with the cover two play. Now, first and ten, he ran man coverage on that one. So, in my head, I'm thinking... He gonna switch to cover two because a lot of people don't stay in the same defense after you just gutted them for 25 or 30 yards. So I'm setting up some underneath routes because that's what I'm always looking to take. I got the out route right there and I got the underneath route. I take that, I pick up about nine yards, a two yard pass turned into an eight or nine yard pickup. Now you can do juke moves, spin moves, all type of stuff. So always take that. Don't be caught down the field like, okay, he in cover two, I'm about to hit him with a cover two beater. No, take your dump offs. Now right here, he went from man coverage to cover two. So when I hike the ball, all you get is this quick amount of time to read. Look at that linebacker getting ready to shoot the gap on the left side. Look at to the right side. Man coverage. His hips is going step for step with my tight end. So I lob it up. It actually takes the timing off of his user and we get a tutty. Let's go.